seconds. Okay, there. Good evening and welcome to Kaleidoscope. We're so glad to have you this evening. This is our last week of uh, classes and uh, this is my show for the last show for the uh, semester. And uh, my theme today is uh, MSU students, uh, their experiences here at MSU in here on campus and outside of campus. So we want you to sit back, relax and enjoy yourself. I think you're in for a treat. We'll be right back. It never gets old, huh? Nope. It kind of makes you wanna... Break the song? Yup. I love the sunset. I love Eagle Lake. I love the forest. I love when eagles play. I love the campus! And all its sights and sounds. boom de yada boom de yada boom de yada boom de yada I love philosophy. We love diversity. I love English. And all its weird words. I love the music. And all its melodies. Boom de yada, boom de yada. Boom de yada, boom de yada. I love fraternities. I love sororities. I love to draw things. And all the athletes. I love more heads. It's such a pretty place. Boom de yada, 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 boom de yada. And welcome back to Kaleidoscope, and so glad to have you. I have two of my guests here uh, this evening uh, with um, uh, two of my students that are part of uh, Black Gospel Ensemble, and I'd like for them to introduce themselves to you first. I uh, have with me. Uh, my name is John McGee. I am a sophomore, and my current major is uh, Business Administration with uh, Computer Science. And I'm Darius Alford. I'm a sophomore here at Moorhead State University, and I'm an exercise science major, pre-physical therapy. All right. Well, fellas, I'm so glad to have you, and thank you for the last minute coming on my show. But yeah. I just want you to share some of your experiences since you've been here. Both of you, this year, both in your second years, right? Yes. yes. Here on campus. So yes. we're going to start with you, John. Tell us a little bit about, what. Well, tell us how you felt when you first got here. What did you think about, first of all, let's back up. Where are you from? I'm from Louisville, Kentucky. All right. Love my cards. All right. Very good. <laughs> um, when I first got here on campus. Okay. <laughs> sorry. <laughs> when I first got here on campus, um, it was a totally different atmosphere. Um, with me being a first generation college student, um, let's see, I had to learn and position myself in places of how to figure things out. And um, that's when I started to look at administration, people to see. Where's my next step? Um, my major that I pre previously said, I just changed it um, after my first year. And um, it's been a struggle. I'm um, finding friends, um, finding people who are like-minded as me as well, and just okay. getting to know myself and better myself. Very good. The Durs, tell me about, where are you from? I'm from Lexington, Kentucky. All right, and tell me about your, let, right now we're going to go into your first year. What did you, when you came to Moorhead, what did you expect? It was, I expected a different atmosphere, really, Dr. Abel. I mean, it was home away from home. Right. I, it was a change, but I, I adjusted to the change. Okay. Now, when you say adjusted, what do you mean? What are you used to from, what, what, what there's a lot of differences, but what are the differences? Back at home, I'm the only person around. I'm more of to myself, you know, not really hanging out with anybody, doing things for myself, which I still do now. But when I've come to Moorhead, I've uh, actually realized I can make friends and get to know people that I know are there for me and have a good experience here. Okay, okay. All right, with that being said, both of you uh, joined uh, Black Gospel Ensemble early on. And uh, did you think that you would be truly as involved with uh, Black Gospel Ensemble as you, uh, when you first came to campus, as you are now? Um, 
when I was in high school, I was involved in a lot of different organizations. And that was one thing I wanted to do in my college career was to be involved and start networking early. So when it, the time comes, if I needed help, I know the people to go to and the people who can further help me and progress me in the way that I needed to go. Okay. What about you, Derek? I hadn't expected to be in BG at all. Okay. I, I really wasn't the singer, but... It, it's brought it out of me. Okay, it has. Now, going into your second year here now, you're in your, first, you're in your third semester. You are concluding with your third semester. So tell me, starting with you, Mr. McGee, tell us about your semester here. This semester has been my roughest, but um, I've had um, my mentor and mentees just tell me constantly keep my head up and keep moving forward, onward and upward toward the light and um, it's just one thing I do try to do is um, give advice to the new incoming freshmen and kind of sort of guide them in the way that I've been guided so that they don't make some of the same mistakes I have and that if they encounter problems that I've encountered I can share that experience with them. Very good. What about you Darius? Your third semester here. My third <laughs> semester was not like the first two. Um, I had a rough start and a rocky start but it was people like you Dr. Well, Abel and you. people like McGee here that helped me get on the other side of all my situations. So, I mean, between these two, you, I mean, thank you for helping me keep my head up. That is wonderful. And I appreciate that more than you'll ever know because that's what I'm here for. A lot of us uh, here want all of, your, all of you all, the students, to be successful. And I feel like you all both are on your way. And uh, just want to say thank you both for coming on the show today. Thank you. Is there anything you want to say? You want to leave any messages to anybody? Um, I like to say to all the freshmen, good luck and ace those finals. There you go. Thank you very much. And we'll be right back. Thank you. Yo, why you looking at bags, bro? What you need is a chick magnet. You put me in the room and boom, chicks. That's what I'm talking about. Kaleidoscope, and I have another visitor and guest here on my show, and I want him to introduce himself. James Reeder from Louisville, Kentucky, sophomore. All right, so glad to have you, James. Um, with uh, your being this your third semester here, tell us a little bit about your first year here at Moorhead. What did you think when you came to Moorhead? What did uh, you think about Moorhead? Well, came to Moorhead on a couple of visits when I was trying to figure out where I was going to go to college, and. I just like the environment, getting away from Louisville, a little smaller, a little bit smaller. A little bit smaller. Little, just a little bit. <laughs> are yeah. you able to handle it? Yes, ma'am. All right, now tell me this. Are you one of those two that uh, find that there's nothing to do in Moorhead? Um, no, I find D stuff to do. That's what I was going to say. <laughs> now, what, uh, your first year here, what, all, what are some of the things that you did? I know you're not really necessarily involved in any organizations per se, but you stay busy and you do your work. 
and I just have to I have to put that on uh, uh, on our show that I know you're very conscientious about your your work and that kind of thing, and that is a good thing, and that's what you're here for. But what are some of the things that you find uh, interesting that you'd like to do your first year here? We're not even going to get into um, uh, the uh, the fall semester first. I just want to tell me what you did uh, during uh, last school year. Sleep. No. Um, <laughs> I went to the rec center. Okay. And, uh, most of the time I was writing papers, okay. communications first semester. You got to get a couple papers written. That's right. Yeah. And mostly just study. Okay. And if I wasn't studying, just trying to hang out and make new friends. Okay. And uh, so you found you, you met a lot of new friends too, right? Yes, ma'am. Okay. Now, since you're here uh, into your third semester after having a summer break and coming back to uh, your uh, third semester here, what have you been doing this semester? Sleeping. No. <laughs> Sleeping uh, and what else? Just, just trying to do all my work, making right. sure I get everything done. I mean, you can still have fun, but you got to make sure you get your work done That's first. That's exactly right. And uh, they put me in a couple 300 level classes, so I've just been buckling down. Okay. Yeah. And you've been doing pretty good in it. Yes, ma'am. All right. And I'm so proud of that. Uh, you're in one of the programs that we have here at Moorhead called the Dreams Program. Mm -hmm. And in that, uh, that's how we came to know one another. And I'm glad about it. Also, uh, I can think of uh, in which your father came with you to visit the campus and mm -hmm. got a good tour, I believe, too. And I think he was satisfied as well. Is he still pleased with what's going on now? Yes, ma'am. With you? That's good. That means a whole lot uh, because um, I know sometimes uh, you may share some information with your parents. You may not share here on campus, but I think he's pleased if you're going to be pleased, right? Yes, ma'am. But why do you find yourself not wanting to be a part of uh, any organizations? Or are you still looking around at organizations? Still looking around. Got my eye on a few. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. Well, we're so glad to have you on the show. Mm -hmm. And I'm glad you uh, 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 com uh, committed to coming on the show and sharing your experiences here at Moorhead with us. No problem. All right. Thank you, James. Thank you. And we'll be right back. And welcome back to Kaleidoscope. We're glad uh, that you're back with us uh, uh, on my show, the last show of the semester. And I have two more guests, and I'd like them to introduce themselves and share where they're from. Hi, I'm Keisha. I'm a junior theater major and a public relations and event planning minor from um, the small town of Martin, Kentucky. All right. Um, I'm Cheyenne Jordan. Uh-oh. I'm Cheyenne Jordan. I am a uh, junior here at Moorhead State, and I'm a theater education major. All right. And we're so glad to have both of you on, too. And, and the theme today is students' experiences here at Moorhead State, as well as in on campus and outside of campus. And I'm going to start with you real quick, like Keisha. And yeah. I do. We're, we're going to go to commercial and then come back and do it over. Okay. <laughs> All right. <laughs> And welcome back to Kaleidoscope. We're glad to uh, be with you here at the, the last um, week of classes here at, uh, on campus. And I have two new guests with me, uh, and I'd like for them to introduce themselves and uh, share with us where they're from and their classification. 
Hi, I'm Keisha. I'm a junior theater major. Um, I'm from the small town of Martin, Kentucky. I'm Cheyenne Jordan. I am a junior. I am from Louisville, Kentucky, and I'm a theater education major. Thank you, ladies, both for coming on my show. And um, I just want you to share a little bit about your, and Keisha, by you being a junior, um, when you first came to Moorhead, uh, what was your expectations of Moorhead when you first got here? Well, or did you know what to expect? I didn't really know what to expect. Um, I wasn't sure what to expect with campus life because I'd never uh, been to college before. I just graduated high school. And um, also, um, being in theater, I come from a place where theater's not a really big thing. We have a small local theater, Jenny Wiley, that I'd worked at before. but. I knew that it was going to be a lot different to be in college than yes. to do the stuff that I had done in high school because my high school didn't even have stage lighting or anything. Wow. So I wasn't sure what to really expect. Wow. Okay. Okay. What about you, Cheyenne? Um, when I came here, I came from a relatively large school. And uh, coming here, I wasn't, I wasn't sure what to expect at all. Um, I really enjoyed coming here and becoming a theater major because I'd, I'd done a lot of theater, but I was interested in learning more about the, the technical side rather than the acting side. So I, was, I wasn't sure what to look for, but I'm, I really enjoyed it. Oh, very good. And now, um, uh, since you've been here for a while, Keisha, have you always been a theater major? Yep. <laughs> well, that's good. And I think, uh, Cheyenne, you have too, right? Yes. yes. And you know, uh, um, a couple of my other students just before, they had changed their major several times, but I think now they're, they're kind of set in stone too. Um, Keisha, uh, at that point now that you're in your second and third year, uh, how do you feel your uh, your coursework, your classes, and that is working out? And you also work outside of campus, right? I do. <laughs> I do. I work at McDonald's as a manager outside of campus, and I think it's kind of been. It was at first hard for me to get the hang of balancing school and all my classwork and my extracurricular work because in the theater department we do a lot yeah. <laughs> of out of class work mm -hmm. and being able to still have a job outside of that. Right. But um, I feel like I've really learned a lot. Um, I hadn't known much about the technical side of theater and I've done wardrobe supervising and stuff and I didn't even know that that was something that happened because at high school we yeah. never had that. So yeah. I feel like I've learned a lot about the technical okay. side of theater. Now, you know, I can't help. I'm also a theater, uh, theater major back in the day when I was here. <laughs> so I just want to know, are you a member of Theta Alpha Phi as well? I am. I am very a member of Theta good, Alpha Phi. Very good. Very good. And I know that um, uh, uh, Cheyenne is also. Uh, but with that being said, Cheyenne, uh, I know uh, you decided, it took you a while to decide to be a part of that. Um, your experiences in the theater department uh, afforded you the opportunity that they kept uh, somewhat coercing you, I guess, to <laughs> want to be a part of Theta Alpha Phi. And uh, as I shared with you, I think that this is definitely a, a way in which it will hopefully get you to the next level, mm -hmm. right? Yes. As far as theater, because that's where my <clears throat> heart is too. I was, uh, and when I was back in the day, I used to be a theater major here too, and so I know what it's like. So, but you all uh, have such advanced courses now. Um, I understand you all just come from makeup and. <laughs> uh, I'm just so proud to see you all uh, uh, progress the way you are and uh, definitely be involved. I understand you more into the costumes and that kind of thing. And, and have you directed a play yet? No, I'm actually taking the directing class next semester. Oh, okay. And uh, Cheyenne, have you? I directed a one-act last semester. Okay. Um, yeah. That was, that was okay, it. Okay, <laughs> very good. And now, and both of you are in the costume uh, shops now, right? Mm -hmm. Well, I'm a work study. She's okay. a work study, and I just do what are supervising on the shows. <laughs> okay, okay. Well, I am so glad you all decided to come on my show. Is there anything you all would like to say? Because I'm just so glad to have you. And if there's anything you want to share with some of your, uh, because they'll get to see this uh, if they want to. It'll be on uh, our website. So is there anything you want to say to anybody? Happy holidays or good luck on uh uh, uh, their uh, coursework or anything? No. Nope. Have a good holiday. All Happy right. holiday. Thank you very <laughs> much, ladies, for coming on the show. Thank you. And we'll be right back. guest on for uh, this 
show as we talk about uh, students and their experiences here at Moorhead State University on campus and off campus. And so I'd like for my next guest to introduce himself and share a little bit about where he's from. Uh, hi, I'm Mohammed Al Salem. I'm from Saudi Arabia and I'm, I'm a freshman here. This is my first semester. My major is CIS, Computer Information System. Oh, okay. Um, and how has your experiences been here at Moorhead since you come? Have, do you feel like we're a warm campus? Or is this your first time on campus when you got here? Or had you come to visit the campus before? Had you come to visit the campus before? No, actually, this is my first time. All right. I, are are you homesick? Yeah, of course. Yeah. How many brothers and sisters do you have? I have three brothers and five sisters. Five sisters. And what number are you? Um, and brothers, like, I'm number two, three. Oh, three, okay, all right. And then, um, and you say you're in the uh, uh, technology system, right? You're going to be computers and that kind of thing? Yeah. So did you have some background in that prior to coming to uh, uh, the, the States, United States? Yeah, actually I've worked like for six months in this major uh -huh. back home okay. with my dad. Okay, and uh, does he have a computer s uh, business or something at home? Uh, actually my dad worked at uh, King Fahad University. Okay. Uh, he's IT. Okay. Well, did you get to go to that university before you came here? Uh, no. So this is your first experience on the university campus and that kind of thing? Yeah. All right. Uh, what had you heard about Kentucky when you knew you were coming to Kentucky? Had you heard, what had you heard? Tell us a little bit about what you heard about Kentucky. I'm not even going to say the states. I'm just going to say Kentucky first. What did you hear about Kentucky? Share with us. Um, like my dad told me like about Kentucky like they like the horses here. Horses, okay. Mm, yeah. And what else? Uh, actually, that's uh, I don't that's remember. about it. Yeah. Okay. Now I know Kentucky is probably not the first state you came to. When you first come into um, uh, the states, what uh, state did you come to first? Here. Oh, it's directly straight here. Yeah. Oh, okay. Well, have you been able to, um, uh, been out to our farm to see any horses, anything? Or have you been to Lexington? Yeah, I've been to Lexington. Lexington. What do you think about uh, our, our different horse farms and that kind of thing? Have you had any opportunity to go to any of the horse farms, anything? Actually, I've been to the museum. Yeah, here, really? At Lexington. Yeah. Island and where there. else? Actually, that's it. It? <laughs> yeah. Okay, and while you're here at Moorhead, what do you do? Do you have a, a work study, anything? Or you just uh, study for your grades and, that, and, and your coursework? Uh, actually, I'm going to study my major and go back. Just, just your major, okay. Now, uh, in that you're here, will you get to go home for the holidays? Yeah, actually, I go in the summer. Oh, okay, so you'll have to be here for Christmas and that kind Yeah, of I'll thing. be here. Okay. Have, do you, have you made plans? Um, me and my roommate planning to go to California. For real? Yeah. Oh, okay. You got it like that. You can go to California. <laughs> yeah. But we still like planning for. Going. Okay. Now, do you have uh, friends or relatives? Anybody in California? Or does some of your roommates? Uh, no. Any particular reason why you're going to California? To see a different city in the U.S. While I'm here. Is that what? To see a different city while okay. I'm, while I'm studying here. All right. Very good. And uh, uh, I'm just so glad to have you on the show. And Muhammad, I hope that your experience here at Moorhead will be a good one. And hopefully I'll have you on again so that you can share with us what else has gone on with you. Okay? okay. All right. And we'll be right back.
I hope you've enjoyed our segment today. Uh, this was uh, just uh, something that I felt was needed to some of you, uh, our viewers, to see some of the uh, uh, experiences some of our students have had here on campus. And uh, I think that they did a great job. A couple of them came on because it was just, uh, uh, just really impromptu and spontaneity. And they came uh, for me to present and share their experience. Uh, uh, Darius Alford, John McGee, uh, Keisha Reed, Cheyenne, as well as James Reed. All right, folks, again, I would just want to say thank you for viewing our last segment for the fall semester of 2013 of Kaleidoscope. It has been a joy to have you here. I hope you all will do well on your uh, final exams, and I hope you have a great and safe holiday, and hope to see you all back during the uh, spring semester. Thank you. Mm -hmm.